To create a new session report, there's two ways you can do it. You can create a report from the calendar and the actual appointment slot. So you'll go to the appointment details and click create session report. Or you can simply go to the menu and click on the session report tab. Our session reports are broken into four categories, subjective, objective, assessment, and plan. This is called SOAP note and it's the style report that licensed massage therapists are required to take. Subjective is the information that the client tells you. So it's what the client sees that is going on with their horse. You will not input what you are observing with the horse in this section. So as you can see, there's tons of different fields of input information and everything is point and click. We do have the option for you to type in additional info as needed. So don't worry if you don't see exactly what you need. And at the bottom, you can write additional comments as well. Objective is going to be what you see going on with the horse. So it's your observation and assessment. The static assessment, every single choice under static assessment has a beautiful image that attaches to the finalized report. So I'll show you at the end what that looks like. So you can select your findings on the horse, confirmational and postural, and you can select what side of the horse and the severity on our toggle bar. At the bottom, again, you can write any additional comments. If you do any palpation, you can mark what side you palpated and the severity of reaction that the horse displayed. If you do any range of motion testing, you can enter those findings here. So we'll say you do some flexion and some shoulder and elbow range of motion and their left shoulder was severely restricted. If you do any dynamic testing, we have tons of input info for you. So we'll say the horse was stumbling and falling on the forehand. And then we'll move on to assessment and treatment. Assessment and treatment is your findings from your session, what you did, and just the assessment of the horse. So we have three different horse templates for you to choose from. We have skeletal. This is going to be geared towards chiropractors and osteopaths. We have muscular with three different views, superficial, middle, and deep, so this is geared more towards, think, massage, myofascial release, osteopath, some chiropractors like to use our muscular report reports, as well as saddle fitters. And then we have soft tissue. So this is more for our PEMF providers, our laser providers, maybe some K-tapers out there, just where you want to mark you found areas of reaction and sensitivity on the horse. You can turn off any of these horse views and settings, and you can also turn off any treatment points that you don't work on in settings, as well as change the names of treatment points if you prefer to call something different. In settings, you'll also find a spot where you can enter quick field notes that you can easily refer to when you're working on the horse. Marking is super easy. You just click on it and enter your findings. We use the four T's of palpation for our findings. So you have tone, texture, tenderness, and temperature, and you can write additional comments here. And then it highlights, oops, I forgot to press done. So it highlights the area of the body on the horse. So highlights all the bones. And again, on muscular, it's the same way. So we'll say you do some work on their back and there's some spasming. Soft tissue, any trigger points you may have found. We also have the option, if you don't wanna click directly on the horse, 
you can choose from this checkoff list at the bottom. So whatever suits your needs better. Modalities are entered in settings. So we'll say I did some K-taping and I did a spinal decompression taping. Here's your spot to write any additional comments under practitioner comments. So I typically like to write how they responded to their treatment. Um, maybe if they did anything interesting during their session, like they did a downward dog stretch, just anything here that you want to tell the client. And you can also attach before and after pictures. Plan is your plan for the client and horse moving forward. So I like to add a treatment plan frequency to let them know when I want to see them again. A lot of my clients are show horses, so I keep them on a pretty consistent four-week schedule. Additional treatment recommendations. So maybe I want them to see their chiropractor again, and I would like them to see them before the next appointment. You can add rest recommendations and follow-up care as well. Follow-up care recommendations are entered in settings, and these are super customizable, so you can add a photo, a link to a website, um, instructions. This is a really great place if you have, let's say, another equine professional that you work with that you like to refer out. That is where I input would suggest inputting that, and then a link to their website to help your client find that person easily. If you have any documents or photos or just anything extra that you want to attach at the end, just click Upload Attachments. And then you complete and send, and your session report automatically emails to your client to the email in their client profile. If your client has an owner portal, it automatically files into their owner portal where they can access it from there. And then it automatically files into their client profile on your end. From there, you can view their profile, the session report that you just created. Don't forget that your letterhead is customizable in settings. If you need any help figuring that out, we do have a tutorial on it or feel free to contact me through customer service. And here you can see all of that information that you inputted with the point and click of a button fills in here. The static assessment, these are those nice illustrations that I talked about. So it just provides a visual to your client for what you were talking about going on with your horse. We have our palpation, our range of motion and dynamic assessments, all of our findings, so our skeletal and our muscular, soft tissue findings, treatments provided, our plan for the horse going forward, our recommendations, and then your signature that you entered, where I guess drew in settings, goes at the end. If you ever need to send this report to, let's say, the client again or a professional, you just click the send button and you can type in, so let's say we want to send it to the farrier and then send. Or you can manually type in an email and don't forget to press enter. Super simple. And if you don't complete a session report and you create a draft, you can view all of your drafts from your unfinished session reports spot on your dashboard. 